Good afternoon. It's Wednesday the 31st of March. It is a bright, uh, warm and sunny afternoon. So I'm back in the region nook uh, with a cup of tea and a fair number of parcels to unbox. Now this one I have already opened uh, because I've attempted to make unboxing uh, videos um, a couple of times with it. Hopefully it's sorted out the problem now, but let's open it again anyway. So, this is from drivethroughrpg.com, it's off the Johnstown Compendium, and it is uh, the duel at Dangerfoot. <clears throat> now, I have done an unboxing with this book before, but uh, the difference in this new version is the spine. Uh, what's happened with the uh, Johnstown Compendium and uh, DriveThroughRPG.com in general is that they have stopped doing saddle stitched um, uh, printing. I am gone to perfect bound only. So uh, this was originally available as saddle stitched, now it's only available as um, perfect bound and it's worth getting. Um, I've already reviewed it as well as done the unboxing and uh, I recommend it um, as it's a nice, uh, interesting encounter um, um, between sort of like the, ca the characters getting involved with the Council of uh, Sartar, uh, led by uh, Queen Lyca, and they travel to Dangerfoot to um, confront a, uh, a basically a, um, a thrust south by lunar forces from Tarsh. Uh, so. Uh, here we go. There's a map inside, and basically that shows you the, the classic um, map of um, basically Sartar. Uh, and here we have the uh, Dangerfoot, which is being attacked down this road. Uh, and um, essentially, if you, what's great about this is it's, it's good. It's a good scenario to include if you're running like an Apple Lane campaign. Um, it gets people to travel a bit further away from the region, gets them involved in local politics and the like. Um, now, it is set after the period of um, uh, the Hero Rai, the base of the Dragon Rai, sorry, as RuneQuest role playing in Glanapha is, and, the, and essentially the characters are called upon to um, travel with the. Um, uh, Sartorite um, tribal forces go north and confront the invasion. Um, so essentially, there's a second lunar empire is marching directly to the south to south to Boldholm, um, and uh, as they, they prepare to face General Fazir Widred, um, uh, in, um, as he makes it, it gets to the ford at Dangerford, uh, they discover a local legend which could, uh, w w that could make a dueling ground in on uh, Dangerford. Um, their salvation. So what it means is um, you, that the player characters can essentially forestall, forestall a second invasion attempt. Um, and if you're running an Apple land campaign, it, what it means is that you can actually run sort of like trips to Dangerford um, one, you know, more than once. Um, there's a scenario from <clears throat> um, called Arrows of War, which uh, has this basically the, the uh, the player characters being called up to muster and go and serve and they don't actually get to the combat as such then. They do encounter other tribal forces um, and allies and so on interact with them um, but then again what happens is uh, you know that that ends they come back they can come back and then they can do it all over again but actually get involved in events in this scenario and after that, what's even interesting is that what they could do is that they could actually go and play through the solo scenario, um, which is available in the forthcoming um, RingQuest role-playing Grant the starter set. Uh, that's not only got sort of like three scenarios set in and around Johnstown, it's got a single scenario set in Dangerfoot, which is solo, but can be adapted to play by a group. Now I have played it and you get to fight alongside Carrier Starbrow and Defender and, and, and you get to see the might of the, Lun the, 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 the Lunar Empire uh, unleashed uh, upon um, in the basic Sartreite Hjortling um, forces. Um, so uh, yeah, th that's essentially what I will be planning to do with my campaign once I return to uh, running face-to-face -face after this lockdown. 
Um, so here we've got another map, um, essentially with the more recent map, a relatively recent map of the region. I know there's a, there are uh, um, Chaosium are working on other maps as well uh, for the Sartar campaign set. Uh, and here we've got a map of Dangerford Village, the Isle Dangerous, and the, the thrust of the Lunar Forces south. Um, and uh, basically several appendices basically covering um, things like um, various bits and pieces, including this playtest feedback from pl uh, playing Smoke and Room, which I've also reviewed, and Diamond Run Box and Oven, I'm telling you that's available. So, um, essentially there's a couple of expansions in here then we have uh, advertising for um, more content the Johnstone Compendium of course uh, the um, Rough Guide to Glamour um, uh, Sandheart um, campaign books now all three of those are great if you are running a campaign if you want to run a campaign which is based around a militia and police style investigations in a Bronze Age society uh, and just basically just content of um, more content from Jump Compendium uh, of which I have reviewed uh, the very good Six Seasons of Sartar, the good Dregs of Clearwine um, and the excellent uh, Valley of Plenty. They're all good though, the Valley of Plenty in particular and Six Seasons of are great campaign starters. So um, that's the Jewel and Dangerford back again available in print on Johnstown Compendium on drivethroughrpg.com. I thoroughly recommend this, adding it to a collection. It's an easy scenario to slot into a campaign, um, and it says it involves the player characters in politics and what um, of, of, of the region and wider events. Okay, so um, there'll be a link to the review uh, when I post this. In the meantime, thank you for watching another unboxing the Nook. If you have enjoyed this, please click the like button. And if you have any feedback, or questions and so on do do please add to the comments down below i take the time to look at them and read through them and if you want to receive yet more notifications um, of me uh, sat here in the garden wittering about books like this then click the subscribe button thanks again for watching and i'll be back soon with another unboxing in the nook bye for now